Hello, my name is John Bynes, and I'm a writer. I thought about doing this video for a while, but uh, had held off because I've been actually in the middle of transitioning. Um, I recently moved out to Los Angeles to further my career as a writer, and I'd like to take a little uh, a moment just to uh, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been in film and television now for about uh, 20, over 20 years, and I started out after uh, engaging in a lucrative career in uh, computer technologies and um, decided that I really wanted to pursue my lifelong you know, goal to becoming a television and film writer. I quit my job um, and started working as a PA production assistant on various music videos and other projects. I eventually worked my way up over a number of years to becoming an editor, working for people like Tom Fontana and Barry Levinson and uh, Dave Chappelle and many others. Um, after a while, I realized that my career was kind of stalemating as an editor and I started to question what I was doing. You know, like a shark uh, at the bottom of the ocean, I always like to use this as a, as a, a parable, but like a shark at the bottom of the ocean, you know, in this business, you have to constantly keep moving. If you don't, you literally will die. Um, so after a while of, uh, of you know, big editing, uh, of course, for a number of people, a number of great, amazing projects, um, I decided to really seriously uh, start writing. And I started to, you know, write spec scripts for shows I, I worked on and, um, you know, writing original uh, ideas of my own in, in the form of screenplays, and even started a novel. Um, but um, I, I quickly found that as challenging as it was to uh, reaching uh, the goal of becoming an editor, my uh, desire to became, become a writer was even more challenging. I had uh, gotten a, a, become actually ill with a very serious terminal illness, and very shortly after, my uh, very faithful companion dog, uh, Fubu, of uh, 11 years at the time, had been mauled by a pit bull. And in the mauling, uh, I broke my hand, actually, um, while the dog was mauling my, my dog, uh, trying to get him off of him. And, um, you know, my dog has since healed up, and he's, you know, an amazing, you know, amazing testament, testament to, uh, you know, um, courage, and which is one of the reasons why I wanted to, to actually make this video was about courage, and sometimes the courage that it takes to continually pursue your goals. Uh, particularly if you want to become a writer or, you know, stay even in the industry of film and television. Um, so I'm there at my house uh, with a broken, you know, hand and, you know, healing a mauled dog and really still dealing with the terminal illness. And um, I still had friends that I was helping. I've always been a very generous person and some friends were living with me and others I was actually taking care of financially. And I started to ask myself, you know, like, at what point is too much, is enough enough, where you keep giving of yourself and you're, you're constantly having to take care of your own self and others. And I started to think, what if you put that burden on a 12-year-old boy? Well, um, that actually created a television pilot that I wrote called The Healer, it's about a 12-year-old immigrant boy who was gifted with, uh, or you could say cursed with the ability to heal. He uh, teams up with a uh, a, a renegade rogue CIA, ex-CIA operative who was trained to kill, a uh, female operative, and they actually go on, event, on an adventure to uh, save the world. And it's a parable about, based, loosely based on the, the narrative of, of Jesus Christ, but more, more importantly reflective of what I felt I was going through in my own life. And one of the things I like to I like to do is, is I write to things, write about things that speak to me, things that are personal to me. And through all of my experiences in this business and, and, and you know, continually working, I've always found it, uh, that no matter how far I think I've gone, I've, I have so much farther to go. And sometimes I feel like I'm starting all over again, which I have. I've recently moved to the Los Angeles area to, um, you know, again, pursue my, my careers in, in television and, and hopefully to meet other writers and producers and I got an opportunity to direct a short film last year and that was amazing and you know just really trying to push to pursue you know this this career that I've, I've set, up, set up upon over 20 years ago 
So again, I just wanted to, you know, my call of action is hopefully to, you know, entice other producers to contact me or reach out to me that I can build relationships with to learn from and hopefully to utilize my skills um, uh, to help them and hopefully, you know, get some information as to how I can uh, further my career in terms of, you know, pitching and and um, uh, possibly even working with um, people on different various projects. So um, I just wanted to, you know, one of the things that I, I make a part of my day, my daily regimen is watching videos from Film Courage. Uh, the, um, all the information, the amazing information, all of the, the amazing experiences of other writers really serve to, to bolster my own um, sometimes um, lofty goals, I call them. Um, and and also to let people know that sometimes this road is not a, it's not a fast one. It, it it takes a while. But my commitment. I people ask me all the time. You know why are you still doing this? And you know to me, writing and creating dialogue for characters and creating characters are is intrinsic to me as the color of my skin or my being a male for that matter. Um, so again, this is to encourage others. You know to hopefully stay on your path. And also for me to another way of my reaching out and and hopefully expanding um, on um, uh, my contacts and people that that could hopefully help me, uh, you know, further my goals. So I just want to say thank you all and have a good day. And uh, may we all reach our goals, no matter how lofty they seem to be. And just stay on your path and you know stick to what you're doing. And you know eventually things will work out. Thank you.